to Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh's number one English radio station. On Radio 1 FM. 103.7. You are on to the Talk Mewo African Hour with your pilot, Emeka Mewo, right here on Radio 1 FM 103.7. Welcome to the Offside with Ken Gaddafi on the Talk Mewo African Hour right here on Radio 1 103.7 FM. All right, we're back again, but this time for the Offside with Ken Gaddafi, that very special spot segment you've all been waiting for. The Soccer Maestro has a special guest, and like I introduced before, we're talking about the very special Garrett Orleans. All the way from the United Kingdom, born in Crewe, the town between Liverpool and Manchester, he is a football enthusiast with vast knowledge in sports he has been around for five years and understand everything going on around sports and football here in cambodia it's good to have him but first i want you to recognize the presence of the man who owns the moment the soccer maestro the soccer giant the soccer encyclopedia i'm talking of no other person than my co-pilot mr ken gaddafi Oh yeah, oh yeah, Emeka, it's good to be back here, it's good to be on the program once more, and um, so we're ready for uh, the sports update. So Mr. Garrett, you feel good being with us? Yeah, it's great, thanks for making me feel so welcome. That's that's nice, that's that's good. Okay, uh, so, um, Ken, uh, Gary, Gary, Gary is here with us, okay? Uh, but um, before we begin to extract his knowledge about the sports world here in Cambodia. We would like you to do the usual. Can you tell us a little bit about this weekend sports? Give us some updates, Ken. Yeah, Emeka, uh, there's a lot to do this weekend. Uh, we have um, so many events coming up. That's and, wonderful. Well, as usual, the Medphone Cambodian League starts again. It's back. I mean, it's mm. on this weekend, starting from today on Friday night. We have games on on Friday. We have games on Saturday. We have games on Sunday. And um, uh, tonight, Dunkett will take on Simak. And uh, on the Saturday, we have Asia Euro taking on Cambodian Tiger. And uh, right after that match, uh, the National Stadium, we will have the big one, the big one, Naga versus Phnom Penh Crown. And I'm sure Gary will have something to say about that because that's a, a star match. The two finalists that took part, I mean, they played the finals last year. And then on Sunday, uh, Pick and Reach, they're gradually turning their home to become a, a, a fortress, uh, scoring six goals in, in the two games they played so far. So they will be playing host uh, once again on, <coughs> on, on, on Sunday uh, when they take the national police. And then uh, also on Sunday, West Ham will... will host uh, the army uh, at the Western Stadium. <laughs> so, well, yeah. that's a quick wrap-up well, of uh, this weekend's event. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's a beautiful delivery of updates on sports for this weekend. I hope you got the tidbits of all you need to know. So, we're back with our guest and I feel very, very cool having Garrett Hollins here in the studio. So, to you, Garrett, uh, <clears throat> Metphone Cambodia League, Metphone Cambodia League. What do you think about the Metphone Cambodia League this season and um, who are your favourites um, for the competition this season? Uh, well, it's an exciting time in Cambodia at the minute. Every year, the league is getting stronger and stronger. So, it will be close, but for me, Bonquet. Okay, for you, Bonquet. Bonquet is leading. And, and overall, you, what, you, how do you see the performance everywhere around the teams? Uh, we're only are two games in, you? but it's looking good. Looking good. Okay, and uh, the Giants, what do you think about it? Well, uh, every year in the last four years, Bunket has been among the top. Uh, they won it in 2012. Unfortunately, in 2013, they could have defended the title, but the, 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 the MCL changed the format to, to use uh, Super 4. And then in 2015 again they, they were top they were top runners. I mean the regular season. Unfortunately, the MCL sell is super four and they lost it. So this year is interesting because I think uh, the winner of the regular season is going to be the champion. <laughs> so uh, obviously I want to agree with uh, with with um, Garrett that Bonquet will be at top, but we cannot rule out the champions. No pen crown. Naga usually start badly, but. At the end of the day, they catch up and they come closer. So, so it's going to be tough, but I, I, I think uh, 
Uh, well, I don't want to say Bunket might carry the day, but uh, they will definitely be among the, the top flight teams uh, uh, going for the title. Okay, that was Ken Gaddafi. Okay, that's what you think, okay? And uh, it seems to me, uh, maybe I don't know much about soccer in Cambodia, but with my little knowledge, I, 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 I don't have a choice but to agree with you that Bunket has really, really, really been impressive. Uh, and... Uh, but talking the matches that will be coming up, uh, there's going to be Naga versus Crown, uh, and there's going to be Bonket versus Simak. Uh, um, uh, Garrett, these two matches. Let, let's start with Naga and Crown. Who who do we look out for in this in this match? Well, I think it's the people who won't be playing that will affect this game. Okay. If it's true that Boyson is not playing, and Sok Peng. I can't see him causing too much trouble, really. But up the other end for Naga, Privat, if they play him centrally, Crown could be in trouble. Okay, okay. And um, for Bonket and Simak? Well, I think Su Yati in the Bonket goal tonight is in for a quiet time. And the strikers could well bag quite a few goals tonight, I think. All right, before I ask you your digits for the predictions, I want to ask the giant, do you agree with him on the, who are we to look out for in the, the match between Naga and Crown? You well, have any uh, names? Uh, like, like you said, uh, I want to agree with him. Uh, Crown, Crown may struggle in this game because they depend so much on their foreign player, and Buisin has been like a magician in the, in the last season until he got injured. Uh, but uh, Kelechi, Kelechi George, their new signing, is yet to score a goal. And I'm sure he's itching to to to, to put it. Uh, he's itching to put in uh, his first goal, you know. And then uh, on the Naga side also, they've only scored one goal, you know, and uh, which is from Privat, okay. And uh, Rashid Rashid Omakafe is. Is uh, is already beaming with 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 confidence that he yeah, wants to score. Rashid. He wants to make yeah. He wants to make a big a big a big a big impression. I bet you he's know? not happy. Up, he hasn't gotten yeah. a goal up till now. <laughs> and so uh, there is no other game than to show yourself than when you play against the champions. Okay. So I think this match will be a star match, and uh, I, I I expect to see these players. I mean, putting up a great show. Okay, and Bonket Simak, um, you know. Um, there's something there's something Garrett pointed out. He he's looking more in the area of those who would not be featuring as, yes. as a big yeah. problem for those teams which may cost the other teams to do even better. So in yeah. the Bonket Simak games, you have any name in mind? So well, who's gonna uh, spring surprises? Um in Bonket Simak game, of course the Atalisman the Atalisman. Chan Vatanaka, he comes off from the bench and he, he, what does he do? He scores the goals, you know. Uh, ben Gaja is also there. Kola Boravi is also there. Uh, so, I mean, Paul talking about Paul Omagba also. Uh, uh, Bonket has a firepower. They have the firepower. Mm. But Simak also is doing well because in the last game they scored five goals. And Timothy Okereke scored an hat trick. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Timothy Okereke. Uh, the Nigerian born Timothy Okereke. Bringing three uh, yeah. goals in a match that was. Yeah. Awesome. And they also have uh, the awesome. Frenchman, the Frenchman uh, Vajel, Vajel from France, you know. is uh, pumping in the goal. So I think it's going to be a tough battle for Bonket, no doubt about that. Okay. Definitely. All right, that was Ken. And that's your judgment. And I. I consider that a very technical analysis but back to the man i consider a very great football enthusiast and this question is going to be a little more technical looking at the foreign players that have been playing okay now i want to say uh, some way somehow i don't know if you agree with me the league has been lit up somehow with the presence of these foreign players putting in so much for their various teams okay now to you uh, which of these players stand out? Uh, for me, there's three. I like Amogba, who plays at Bonquet. Okay. Full of energy, really good on the ball, uh, can get goals. Second, right. Privat. Okay. He's a really great player. Uh, he knows what he's doing, very skillful. Okay. But the best for me, at uh, Tiger, uh, Massa, the Japanese lad. He's just a cut above. He's brilliant. And you want to give a little summary. What do you think about um, foreign players and um, Cambodian football? Uh, they're a good thing, I think, because uh, the foreign players bring other ideas to Cambodia. And okay. uh, 
it's a different style of football. And you think that the, the, the football world, the, especially the Metro and Cambodian League, has been very accommodating to foreign players and uh, foreign expatriates in football? It has, because at the different clubs wear different nationalities. The nationalities come along to the game to support those lads, so it encourages more people to come to the game, I think. Exactly, exactly. I agree with you. Um, wh what's your opinion about that? Foreign players, foreign players, Canada? Yeah, I, I agree with Gary on this issue, you know. Uh, first and foremost, we, we saw from the Cambodian All-Star game uh, um, about a month ago when they played uh, Buri Ram and then they played... Um, the the, 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 the the Thai teams, I mean the top teams in Thailand, you know, um, Muang Tong, Tha Muang Tong uh, United. Uh, the use of the foreign players made a great difference, okay? And I can tell you now that the the, the Football Federation is organizing another All-Star game. Uh, probably uh, not many people may be aware of this, but they can hear now that in, 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 a, in a fortnight, Laos is coming, and the Cambodian uh, All Star will play them. So, just I, I want to agree with that, Gary. Here, yeah. the, okay. the foreign players have spiked up this game. Thank you so much, Ken Gaddafi, the soccer giant, the man who's been in sports world in Cambodia for God knows how long. It's also been a wonderful pleasure having in the studio with me, Garrett Hollins. Garrett Hollins, thank you for coming. Pleasure, thank and, you. Um, I hope um, anytime we're calling you, you'll be a regular. Um, analyst here on our show. On the yeah, thanks for inviting me. You made thank me feel very welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, coming. Garrett. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. All right. Have a nice weekend. All right. Um, just before we leave, oh, I feel bad each time I have to let... Uh, each time I have to go, one hour looks so small for us, but what can we do? Just stay in touch with us on our Facebook page. Tell us what you want to see. Next week is going to be very booming. Trust me, you want to like our Facebook page, Talk Mewo TV, or you follow us on the Twitter handle, Talk Mewo TV, or log on to our website, www.talkmewo.tv. Okay, it's been the Talk Mewo African Hour on your favorite station, number one hit music station in Nampang, Radio 1 FM 103.7. I know you're going to be asking for more, and because of that, I'm going to be giving you something from our Nigerian musical legend, the Banj. It is Oliver Twist. You know what Oliver Twist does? He asks for more. It's been Talk Mewa Show. Thank you, Ken, for coming. Thank you, Garrett. Stay with us on Monday. It's going to be juicy. It's been the Talk Mewa African Hour Radio 1. My name is Emeka Mewo. I will be your pilot as I fly you through the Talk Mewo African Hour. 2 to 3 p.m. from Mondays to Fridays on Radio 1 103.7. Lighten up your afternoon hours. Feel at home with me as I treat you to the best of African music, entertainment, gist, business updates, and a lot more. The show will feature the best of sports review and updates on our special sports segment, Offside with Ken Gaddafi. Talk Mewo African Hour. You don't want to miss it.